Yo, what it do guys and welcome back to another video. Angels of the Zaraman update released just this week on Warframe and with it came the new Incarnan involving weapons. A set of three so far, a rifle, pistol and melee for us to flex and modify somewhat on the go. For this video, we will be targeting and looking into the first Incarnan weapon. You will be able to pick up the secondary pistol, the laser. So for now, let's jump straight into the evolution stages and then have a look at the build a little later. And I am going to make the assumption that you guys for this video have already picked up a blueprint and you've either crafted the weapon or you're going to start crafting it. But either way, you will want to have got the weapons equipped in your hands for this next part. Approach the Zaraman Trader, Cavalero, within the Zaraman Hub and select the Evolve Incarnate weapons of the one that you have equipped and you want to see more from. There are five stages of evolutions for these weapons and each stage is going to either solely affect the prefix or the suffix form of the weapon, or it may share the effect across both forms. The prefix form of the weapon to me is what you will be using when you first get it. The suffix form of the weapon is the evolved variant that is unlocked by completing what the weapon needs to unlock it in your missions. I know it's a mouthful, but you will get used to it. For the Latum, it requires headshots to build up and charge the Incarnan transmutation. Each of the five stages of evolutions you see here will require challenges to unlock them. These can be things like kills, Eximus kills, headshots on angels, to even close and flood ruptures. Either way, I've got most of them done except from the final evolution, and there will be different challenges for you guys to unlock on your way during each stage. Now, we can get into the values, a part that I absolutely love, and I will be definitely disclaiming right here, right now, that there isn't a right way to approach this, and there isn't a wrong way to approach this. Select your weapon however you want to, cater to what you think suits you best, and enjoy these evolutions in your own way. Stage 1 Evolution Not much go ahead and say here. When unlocked, this is the way that will allow your in-game, incarnate weapon to function differently. Build up your charges with headshots and then when maxed out, use your alt fire to evolve your weapon and showcase its true power. Stage 2 Evolution Your choices are Minus 40% Weapon Recoil Plus 20% Fire Rate plus 50% movement speed when aiming. So I'm gonna be working backwards here. I personally don't think the movement speed while aiming is needed. So I've already concluded that one out for me again, personally. So it's between the recoil and the fire rate that I advise you to consider taking. For me, I have selected the recoil. There is a recoil mod named Steady Hands and a recoil arcane named Secondary Deadhead that will also give better recoil control. But since the rate of fire buff is only 20%, I would personally prefer the recoil as I wouldn't have to mod for it and I can use a projectile mod named Lethal Momentum in its slot to help the projectile speeds in further and longer distance fights to be more accurate than having to lead my shots and predict the travel of the enemy. To me, this is the best of both you utility worlds here. Stage 3 Evolution. Your choices are on headshot plus 30% reload speed for 12 seconds stacks up to 3 times. Plus 30% magazine reloaded per second when the weapon is holstered. Gain plus 60% ammo efficiency whilst aim gliding and sliding. I took the weapon into the similar crumb test arena and the first thing I needed to find out was, is the evolved transmuted form of the weapon, the suffix, affected by any type of ammo capacity, ammo efficiency, ammo restoration, or even ammo maximum. Fortunately, from what I have tested, they are not affected by this. The prefix form is affected by it, however. With that in mind, I personally decided not to go with that option. So it boils down to asking yourself two questions. Do you want to focus on just using this weapon when you play? Or do you want to use other weapons with this weapon when you play? Again, me personally, I have been using mostly just this weapon as I was testing it. So I picked the first slot in Evolution 3 and went with the reload on headshots as I was not really holstering my weapon to benefit from it. For you, again, take whatever suits you best here. Stage 4 Evolution. Your choices are plus 50% headshot damage, headshots build plus 50% more incarnate transmutation charge, plus 20% status chance and minus 10% critical chance. 
first slot for an extra plus 50% damage isn't really that great to me. There is a headshot multiplier to factor in, but personally, I feel the damage is rather low and the other two choices have better outcomes, so let me explain. The middle slot, Incarnate Efficiency, genuinely is a great way to build up your evolved transmutation state quicker, requiring 50% less usage of headshots to get there. Overall, this is a great outcome and genuinely a solid choice. However, the third slot, Elemental Excess, is quite unique. It doesn't look good at first glance, but let's now check that final stage. Stage 5 Evolution, your choices are plus 50% chance to deal plus 2000% damage on non-critical hits, plus 40% ammo efficiency for 6 seconds, on hit that is neither a critical hit nor a hit that applies a status effect, gain plus 400% damage for 20 seconds, which stacks up to 3 times. Now I'm going to go back on myself here and note something that I mentioned earlier. Unless the weapon is bugged or it wasn't intended, this weapon, the Latum's Evolved Transmutated Suffix Bomb, is not affected by ammo efficiency. And because I want to spend most of my time in the suffix form, I therefore ruled it out personally for myself. Looking at the third slot choice here, I'm basically picking up on what seems to be a raw damage build, which is definitely an interesting approach. In the long run of builds, and how math formula builds genuinely work within Warframe, it's to be noted that going for just raw damage stacked in builds is usually a bad idea because it will meet a resistance threshold faster when enemies scale in comparison to other methods such as critical slash builds or status debuff builds for example. This made me not want to go ahead and stay into this route, but when I can finally get this last evolution unlocked, I will test it and see if I judge too soon. So that brings us to the first in slot choice, Devouring Attrition and overall a buff to both builds of raw damage and even status builds. Concept of this choice is to genuinely not hit any critical. So on that note, if we back up just a little bit and remember in stage four evolution, elemental excess, we can lower our critical chance and promote a status build with debuffs, dots and damage instead. It's even to be noted that if you roll a Riven for this weapon and pull a negative critical chance roll, that would only make this evolution choice stronger. So guys, those are my picks and that is my advice from what I am currently seeing. Whether or not they change this in the future, I don't know. But if they do, we can always go ahead and review it again. Here is my current build for the Latum. Starting off with scaling related damage on status with Galvanized Shot. If you don't own this mod, swap it to Hornet Strike for a base damage increase. Scaling Multi Shot of Galvanized Diffusion. Again, if you don't own uh, this mod, then you can swap it with a normal Barrel Diffusion. Also chucked in some extra Multi Shot and Fire Rate, the Lethal Torrent mod. From here, I steered the rest of the build to go and complement status returns, and that can be done by either using 6060 mods such as Jolt, Scorch, etc., or by using Flat Elemental 90 mods such as Convulsion or even Pathogen Rounds, as an example. I also added in a Faction mod for extra multiplicative damage and double dipping if dots such as Slash are even procced. Ultimately, I could complement the build by switching it over to Viral for that as well, but that choice is yours. As for the Arcane, I went for Deadheads, as my chat ever so graciously pointed out to me, it was actually a better option personally in terms of utility and procking, since I need to get headshots anyways, and the recoil buff is personally better than the reload buff I could get from Merciless. There are some newer Arcanes that just came out as well that could complement critical builds, but I think for the Latum, that is counterintuitive due to the fact that the weapon's evolutions are clearly promoting either a damage outcome or a status outcome mostly. So, with all of that being said, that is my feedback and my build for the Latum weapon. A video like this takes an awful lot in terms of scripting and editing to make sure that what I say is either correct or at least reasonable general knowledge to help a player like you understand and approach the weapon with a better state of mind. If you did enjoy this type of video with a breakdown, then please let it be known by making your voice heard. Leave some feedback in the comments section of how you found it or what kind of builds you would prefer to take that would suit you. Support the video with a like and even share it with a friend. That would be very helpful to me. But as always, guys, subscribe to the channel if you're new and I will be seeing you guys again in the next video.